In this video, I'll show you how to add remote config to your mobile application. And I will start by going to documentation and show you where you can find reference to it. If you're in Firebase inside of your project, you can go to docs by clicking to this link in the upper right corner, or you can go to Firebase homepage like this. And then there should be a link to documentation at the top here. So if you click on docs, then go to get started for iOS. And then on the left side here, you should find remote config. It is under grow here, remote configuration. So if I click on it and then let's go to use remote config on iOS, click here. And here's the first steps that we will need to do to add remote config to our mobile app. We will need to install Firebase SDK. We already have it. And then we will need to add one more pod file. I'll copy it and then install this pod and then uh, open our Xcode workspace and then import Firebase into mobile app, configure and then get a singleton remote config object as an example here and then start using it like for example set default parameters. So let's uh, perform these steps first. I'll go back to my Xcode project. It's my music app and then I'll go to pods and I will add one more pod file which I have just copied. So it's firebase forward slash remote config. I will save it and now I will close this workspace and I will bring up my terminal window and I will need to navigate to my project folder. I am right now in there. So it's music app. So if I check its location, it, I'm inside of music app project. And if I list files, I should be able to see Xcode project and Xcode workspace in this folder. So once I'm sure I'm here, I can write put install to install a newly added pod. Okay, I can see that installation of Firebase Remote Config version 2 and it was successful. So now I can open my music app Xcode workspace. I'll copy its name and then use open command to open this file. And this is it, very simple. So let's start using the remote config and in the next video we will set up some default configuration parameters.